Chicago with his pal Spinner and Tattlefoot and Pipeline to Danger. Clutch and company are taking it easy after their last adventure, not knowing that at this very moment across the ocean, in the desert oil country, a giant pipeline is about to be put into service. A pipeline to carry thousands of gallons of oil each day from the oil fields to mammoth storage tanks hundreds of miles distant. The valve opening ceremony is about to begin. And so oil will flow faster and safer. Stand back, everybody, please. The pressure may be very great. Now I'll open the valve. <laughs> Something must be wrong, men. It's either a leak in the pipe or the wells have just stopped pumping. There should be a steady flow. We're in trouble no matter what. But I know just the man to help us. I'll send him a cable right now and ask him to come. Harry Hoover's message sounded urgent. I have a hunch we're in for some real excitement this time, Spinner. We're traveling an awful lot of miles just to find a leak in an oil pipe. It may seem that way, Spinner, but when the oil pipelines get interfered with, it's a serious matter. After a long journey and many refueling stops, Clutch and company draw near their destination. We're getting close, Spinner. We're to fly north to Salala a few miles and find the rub alkali desert. There it is now, Clutch. Lots of sand and round tanks. That's it, Spinner. Those are the oil storage tanks. And there's the airfield. I'll take her in. There's his plane landing now. Uh, you know what to do. I don't see Carrie Hooper. Funny, he said he'd meet us. Mr. Hooper, very sorry, could not come himself to meet you. Who are you? I am unworthy servant of Mr. Hooper. He sent me with car to meet you. I take you to him as quick as possible. Okay, let's go. Clutch and company, get in the car and drive off with the man who says he is Kerry Hooper's servant. Where are we meeting Mr. Hooper, anyway? We go find him in his office. Other road too rough. Quicker to go a long way round. Might be fine view, too, on this road from top of cliffs over ocean. I see. Meanwhile, a fast desert car is speeding along behind them on the road that leads over the steep cliffs. Clutch, there's a car following us. Wonder who he is. He's gaining on us. I don't know what's going on, but I think we'd better speed up a bit, driver. Okay, boss. He's getting closer all the time, Clutch. I don't like this, Smith. Faster, driver. Going fast as I can, boss. Here is place I tell you about. Very fine view, no? And this is place where I get out. Clutch! He jumped out! Clutch! That car! It's going to hit us! Spinner, jump for your life! I can't! The door's jammed! Can Clutch and Company survive that terrible plunge? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Pipeline to Danger. You remember last time, Clutch and Company flew to the Rub Alkali Desert oil fields to help carry Hooper, an old friend. They were met by a huge man supposed to be Hooper's servant as they traveled by car. Get your window closed, Spinner. Hurry! With the car window closed, the air inside makes it buoyant enough to come to the surface. You all right, Spinner? <laughs> I guess so, Clutch. Paddlefoot? Good. It's only a few yards to the beach. There they go. Sure in a hurry to get away. Couldn't have been an accident. Come on, Spinner and Paddlefoot. Let's find Kerry Hooper and see what's behind all this.
At the storage tanks, they find Carrie Hooper. Clutch tells him of their narrow escape and of the man who claimed to be his servant. This is a terrible thing. I have no one like you described in my employ. I got a cable from Brasindi yesterday. Said you wouldn't be getting in till tomorrow. I never sent it. Looks as though someone doesn't want us around. We'll have to watch it. Now, tell me your trouble. Losing most of our oil, Clutch. Only half of it gets through the pipeline to these storage tanks. It disappears between the wells and here. We've looked all over, but can't find where it's going. I figured that was the trouble. Well, we're here to help, no huh, fella? Right, Clutch. Now, how do we travel? Best way over this sand is by Desert Cat, Clutch. Desert Cat? Yes, boy. Got one right here. Oh, why, it's only a tractor car. Yes, boy. Best thing for inspecting pipeline. Pipes above ground, you know. Good. We'll follow the pipeline to the wells. As the desert cat starts off on the journey to the oil wells, a sinister figure watches from behind a storage tank. They've started for the oil field. Come on, Benji. With Perry driving, Clutch is able to examine the pipeline all the way. But as they drive across the desert to the oil wells, no sign of a break or a leak can be seen. Well, here we are, Clutch. Who's in charge here, Kerry? That feller standing right there by the shack, Luke Larkin. Howdy, Luke. Howdy to you, Kerry. This the fellow you was talking about? Hello, Luke. Pleased to meet you. I'd like to ask some questions. Fire away. First of all, how much oil are you pumping? Better than a thousand gallons a day from each pump. Come on and have a look. There's one of them going full bore. Yet only half of it has come through. And we didn't find a leak. Somebody must be stealing it. But how, Clutch? In buckets? No, Spinner. Something much bigger than that. Speaking of something big, look at that plane. Now, there's a whopper. I'll say it is. Who does it belong to, Carrie? Darned if I know, Clutch. Been flying around here for a couple of weeks now. A big fat feller told me they was doing air survey work. Clutch! Paddlefoot must have heard something. He sounds mad. Quick, Spinner. Back to the Jeep. Hey, wait for me. What is it, Clutch? There's what it is. Our tires are flat. This was done on purpose. Someone is trying to keep us here. What reason would anyone have to keep them there? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, and Pipeline to Danger. You remember last time, Clutch and Company, with Kerry Hooper, drove a desert cat from one end of the oil pipeline to the other. After looking around, Paddlefoot began to growl. They turned and ran to find the air had been let out of all their tires. Wonder why they want to keep us here? To cover up something that's happening somewhere else. You mean like taking the oil? That could be the reason. Have there been any strangers hanging around? I did hear there was a big man and his giant helper around for a few days. That's quite a while ago. Haven't heard since. Now we'll keep our eyes open. Do you have a pump? We've got to get these tires up again. I'll get you a pump from the shed. Thanks, Luke. It's sometimes hard to spot strangers. An Arab costume makes an easy disguise. Hey, why don't we do that, Clutch? Not right now, Spinner. But we may have to later. Golly, Clutch. I can see us now, as sheiks. We'd look pretty good. Could be, Spinner. Here's the pump. Say, that's not a bad idea about those costumes, Clutch. I can get them for you. Thanks, Gary. It's more important right now to get these tires pumped up. Clutch pumps steadily until the tires are inflated. All set. Pile in the Jeep, everybody. We'll start back. You drive, Carrie, if you will. Gives me a better chance to look. We'll stop every few miles. I want to listen to the pipe. We should be able to hear the oil running through. That's like the men do on train tracks. They put their ear to the track and listen to the train. Every few miles, Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot listen to the pipe. I hear it, Clutch. 
Oh, 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 Yep, it's coming past this point, all right. Back to the Jeep. We've come almost halfway, and the oil's still flowing. We'd better keep listening, though. Meanwhile, farther ahead, a sinister figure with a powerful telescope watches every move that Clutch and company make. They're coming closer, Punji. Quickly now, disconnect the oil line. Yes, Master. We've got to get the plane in the air before they get here. Ah, uh, good work, Punji. Now put the plug back and we'll be off. So far, we've heard the oil running in the pipeline all the way. We'll make a few more stops before we get back. Wait a minute. Stop the Jeep and cut the motor, Carrie. I think I hear something. Sounds like a big plane's engine's warming up. It's over that rise ahead. Come on, let's go. Stop here, Carrie, so they won't see the Jeep. We'll get a look from behind that sand dune. Wow! Look at that big plane! I wonder why they landed so close to the pipeline. Maybe they wanted to gas up. By golly, that's it. Not gas up. Oil up. That's a specially built oil tanker plane. They're tapping into your pipe. That's where your oil's going. They're going to take off. Into the Jeep, everybody. We'll try to head them off. Head over to the right, Carrie, so we can block their takeoff. to find where the oil stopped flowing. They spotted a big plane tapping the line for oil. As they tried to head off the plane... That was close. Well, they got away. That's where the oil's going, all right, Clutch. Okay, let's get back to our plane. Maybe we can beat them at their own game. I had an idea we might be able to spot their tanker base from the air, Spinner. Clutch, I think I see something. Where, Spinner? Over there. Looks like a sand dune that's been hollowed out. You're right, Spinner. I'll throttle back and glide so we won't make any noise. We've got to get a closer look. Wow! Look at that setup. They sure got a hiding place. That's an abandoned camouflaged hillside hangar that was used during the war. <laughs> Clutch cargo cut his motor, thinking we wouldn't hear him. They'll come back, and when they do... <laughs> okay, Spinner. We're far enough away. They can't hear us. Now for some speed. What are we going to do, Clutch? Pay them a little visit as a couple of sheiks. You look great, Clutch. No one would know you were Clutch Cargo and Spinner. <laughs> Didn't I tell you they'd be back? Thought they could fool me with their disguise. <laughs> We're pretty close now, Carrie. Better wait for us here. Unaware that their movements have been observed, Clutch and company make their way on foot to a point overlooking the tanker plane's hideout. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. You stay here, Spinner. I'm going to take a closer look. The boy's alone now. Go up and see if you can grab him, Punchy. I'll get back to the plane so we can take off fast. Clutch works his way to a vantage point closer to the hideout. And Spinner and Paddlefoot settle down to await his return, not knowing that Punji is looking for them and is now very close. Big Ma is waiting in the plane. With the boy in our hands, we'll teach them not to meddle with us. Shh, I hear someone. Boy must be very near here. What was that? But at that moment, Big Ma sees Clutch. Clutch cargo. We better get out of here. These start engines. I better go. 
the big tanker plane takes off with Punchy just able to scramble aboard. They're headed back to your place, Kerry. We'll follow them. Okay, Punchy, turn on that valve and let the oil run out. Yes, master. <laughs> oil begins to run out. Leaving a trail of oil leading straight to the storage tank. exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Pipeline to Danger. Last time, Clutch and company discovered a sand dune airplane hangar that had been used during the war. Disguising themselves as desert cheeks, they went back to the hangar, where the oil thieves discovered them as the thieves escaped, letting oil run from the tanker plane. Step on it, Terry. Get in front of the fire. We've got to stop it before it gets to those storage tanks. Watch! What's there? What if those things explode? We've got to prevent that if we can. Quick, Terry. Get over to the tank with that plywood leaning against it. What you gonna do, Crutch? We'll use this as a bulldozer to push the oily sand back. Gosh! Turn around, Terry. Okay, Clutch. Gee. A few more feet and we'd all have been boiled in oil. Drive us back to the sand dune hangar, Terry. Then come back here and put more oil on the fire. When they see more smoke, they'll think their tanks are burning. Okay, Clutch. Keep on the other side of that sand dune so we can stay out of sight. This is it, Kerry. Come on, Spinner and Paddlefoot. <laughs> A good job. Well done. It's still burning. <laughs> Those tanks and Clutch Cargo and his friends are all going up in smoke. <laughs> there they are, Clutch. They think we're goners. Ever seen two scared rabbit Spinner? Watch. Yeah! Look out, it's the whole yeah! army! Run, Punchy! Run for your life! Yeah! Get out of my way, master! Come on down, Spinner. Here we come, Clutch! Whee! Time in, Spinner. We're going for a joy ride. It'll be a joy to catch those two crooks. Start circling around them, Spinner. You turn on that big bell. The black oil starts to run out. Covering the sand in a big circle. There goes the flare. The heat's on, my kid. We're surrounded. Wow, I'm getting hot, boss. That'll burn for quite a while, Spinner. You should see who our prisoners are. You're right, Clutch. It's so hot they've taken off their costumes. Why, it's the Maharaja of Sphinxville and his hatchet man, Punji. They won't bother anybody else. Not where they're going. The DMCP will put them away for a long time. The DMCP? What's that? That's the Desert Mounted Camel Patrol. Best in the world. Great work, Clutch. Nobody but you three could have done such a good job. Thanks to you, there'll be no more oil stealing around these parts. Thanks for the kind words, Carrie. Sure glad we could help. Me too, Mr. Hooper. Glad we don't have to wear those funny clothes anymore, though. Looks like one of your gang doesn't agree with that, Spinner. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Pipeline to Danger. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.